news that matters. KSNT News starts now. Millions of federal coronavirus relief dollars heading out to Kansas schools. How districts are using those dollars to help your kids play catch up after pandemic setbacks. And social media stepping into a new political arena. Snapchat reaches 90% of the U.S. population age 13 to 24. How they're using the platform to help younger people launch their own campaigns. Plus, the rodeo is in town, but there's a twist. Only a certain type of person is allowed to participate. How the special connection makes for an even more special show. And rivalry matchups, nail biters, and even a battle of undefeated teams. You better believe we've got all the football action coming your way in tonight's football frenzy. And thank you so much for joining us here tonight. I'm Brooke Lennington. Things sure to cool off for Friday night football as the sun went down tonight, but we've got a warm up on the way tomorrow. We start with a look at the weather now. KSNT Storm Track meteorologist Becky Taylor joining us now for a look at our weekend forecast. And Becky, it's good to see you here on the evening. Yeah, evenings. you too. Always being on the uh, mornings, but it's good to reunite. I know. It's always fun <laughs> to have the Brooke and Becky show reunited, isn't it? <laughs> Brooke and Becky. It goes together well. <laughs> yes, it does. Well, we do have a, quite a bit of heat, like you were mentioning in the forecast for tomorrow. Tonight, not too bad. A little on the mild side, but we do have some of those clouds coming in. But overall, looks like a great night showing up on our weather cameras. That's a look out of our West Topeka camera. Traffic still moving along pretty good on I-70. We have another shot out of our Manhattan camera as well. Uh, we do have some clouds moving through right now, but there might be a few breaks in those clouds. If you want to look off to the north and west, there is a meteor shower ongoing this evening. Not the best meteor shower we have ever had here, but you could see about 5 to 10 meteors per hour. Now, temperatures are in the upper 60s to low 70s for the most part. So we're down to 67 in Lawrence, 68 in Linden, 71 in Topeka, St. Mary's, and Manhattan, and we're at 70. 72 in Emporia. Same goes for Riley. So really not too bad right now. Winds are fairly light, running about three to maybe seven miles per hour out of the south and east. But notice what happens tomorrow with those winds. They're going to calm down tonight, but then we'll see those really picking up through the daytime tomorrow. That's really going to help bump our temperatures up as well. So we're going to talk about just how high we get coming up. We'll do it tonight. Local police want your help finding out who stole and then destroyed a statue. The Topeka Police Department sharing photos of the statue from the Clarion Woods neighborhood. And you can see what she used to look like here on your screen now, and then what she looks like now. The condition she's in, not good. Topeka Police are asking for anyone with information to reach out. The Crime Stoppers number is on your screen right now. If you want to jot it down real quick or pull out your phone and take a picture of it, it's 785-234-0007. Now, we do have all that contact information for you on our website as well. If you didn't get a chance to get that down, just head to KSNT.com. Tonight, law enforcement officers from across the state are remembering their fallen colleagues, gathering at the state capitol earlier today for an annual memorial event. Seven fallen members of law enforcement were honored today, including three that died from COVID-19 and others from violence. As Colonel Herman Jones, the head of the Kansas Highway Patrol, explains, it's both a painful and powerful reminder of how much these officers sacrificed. <laughs> And it's not just this one day, it's 365 days, because we don't just show support on this one day. There are people that are here and beyond that show support all the time. And while the memorial has been around for a couple of years now in the Topeka area, the wall around it has been renovated to add names. Typically, this event is in May, but it was pushed back until now because of this pandemic. Also out of our state house tonight from our KSNT News Capitol Bureau, Kansas leaders deciding how to spend more than a billion dollars in federal coronavirus relief money. The state recently received all of that money, and a big focus right now is helping Kansas kids catch up in the classroom. Money going directly to school districts for tools to help prepare and respond to the virus, as well as dollars to train teachers to support students in reading and in math. This as many fell behind during the pandemic. I think it's very likely that some of the academic measures, test scores, ACT scores, they're going to be down despite more money because even with additional funding, this tremendous event <laughs> that affects students and learning took place. And just about a month ago, a special legislative committee was formed to look into exactly how that money is spent. But for now, that committee hasn't started meeting yet. But of course, we will keep you posted as they get to work and start distributing more money 
You can keep up with everything going on at the State House, even when we're off the air. Just head to KSNT.com and look for our Capitol Bureau section. And for our future lawmakers, well, getting involved in politics can seem daunting, especially for the younger generation. But Snapchat is making launching your own campaign easy. Leading up to the 2020 election, Snapchat helped over a million people register to vote, and more than half of those people were first-time voters. Sophia Gross is Snap Inc.'s public policy manager. She says since the voter registration was a success, they wanted to take it a step further. So they're making starting a campaign simple and straightforward. Snapchat reaches 90% of the U.S. population age 13 to 24. With that comes an awesome responsibility and huge opportunity of helping this next generation of Americans understand how to make their voice heard. Political science professor Eric Heberling says it's a great way for young people to get their foot in the door with politics, whether it's getting involved with an existing campaign or even starting their own. What I thought was neat about that was it asks you first about what the issues are that you care about and then says, all right, these are the offices that you need to run for in order to address those issues. It allows people to essentially recruit themselves, that they don't have to rely on activism from extreme groups or connections to these cause type groups to get involved. And in 2020, 30% of federal, state and local elections were uncontested with apps like Snapchat making it so much easier to launch a campaign and even get on the ballot. Experts predict that statistics might be very different come 2022 with more races having more competition. And it is something that just can't be contested. Chiefs fans have no shortage of talent or creativity. Coming up, the artistic way some are getting ready for game day. And a popular attraction getting an encore weekend. Up next, your for real last chance to finally enjoy the Garden Glow. And our rain chances stay very low tonight and into tomorrow too, but we are watching a cold front that's set to arrive sometime on Sunday, and that is going to ramp up our rain chances and decrease our temperatures. More on that coming up. You're watching KSNT News at 10 with Brooke Lennington and meteorologist Gabriela Gomez. With these quarterbacks, the only way to settle this is to air it out. Bills, Chiefs, Sunday Night Football on NBC and Peacock. We went to a Chiefs party before there were vaccines. My 10-year-old daughter, Vivi, got COVID the worst. She had the most excruciating pain that we have ever seen her in. It was the most powerless and helpless and hopeless I have ever felt as a parent. If you choose to not get vaccinated, you are taking a risk every day and you may wait until it's too late. Go to getvaccineanswers.org, a message from the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. When my sister passed, I was worried I'd feel alone in planning her funeral. She always handled things like this. Penwell Gable was so wonderful in helping me through all of the arrangements. They were there like a friend in a time I truly needed them. I also got more than I expected at a very affordable price. We know how important price is, but families return to us for service. At Penwell Gable, we provide a quality service at a price you can afford. I only paid $37 for my glasses. Awesome. Success vision. It's the real deal. It couldn't be easier. The eye doctor next door is great. Two thumbs up? Yes. <laughs> my glasses feel great. So easy. I couldn't be happier. Now that is awesome. I loved it. It's actually fun to buy glasses. Great feel and great look. That's why I keep coming back. I will definitely be back. Two pair for 39 in an hour for less. Come see us today, Success Vision Express. Your love will bloom with a romance bridal collection. Each ring is a marriage of the natural splendor of sparkling diamonds with exquisitely crafted 18 karat gold designs. True love begins with the romance bridal collection at David's Jewelers. Come celebrate our 88th anniversary with us and everyone, including you, could get up to an $8,800 free rebate for your purchase. 88 yards or more, and you score up to an $8,800 rebate. Experience better. 
Oh, yeah. Angie's List is now Angie, and it's easier than ever to get your projects done right. With Angie, you can connect with top pros and see ratings and reviews. And when you book and pay through Angie, you're covered by our happiness guarantee. Check out Angie.com today. Angie and done. For news on the go, KSNT News mobile app. You're watching KSNT News at 10, winner of the regional Edward R. Murrow Award for continuing coverage. Hey, well, welcome back. This weekend is your last chance to catch a local attraction this season. Garden Glow at the Wordmead Botanical Garden in Topeka is open again tonight and tomorrow night. It was set to end last week, but Shawnee County Parks and Rec extended it for one more week. And look at those flamingos go there. Now, it'll be open again for the last time tomorrow from 7 to 10, so don't miss it. Another local event you won't want to miss this weekend, the Professional Armed Forces Rodeo. The group is made up entirely of active service members and veterans, and they're in Topeka this weekend putting on quite the show. The last one is happening tomorrow. It's at 6 in the evening at the Stormont Vale Events Center. We've got all the details for you online if you'd like to check it out. Just head to KSNT.com. And here's a little more talent for you. Chiefs fans painting a mural for Sunday's matchup against the Bills. Take a look. Each week, local artists are creating a five-yard long mural inspired by a fan. NBC Sports will then put the 20 murals together ahead of the Super Bowl, creating a 100-yard painting. Now, don't miss the Chiefs taking on the Bills this Sunday at 720 right here on KSNT. And if you are planning on going to the game on Sunday, just pack the rain gear. You're probably going to need it at some point during the game. I think we'll likely have showers moving in right around kickoff, but becoming a little bit more numerous as the game progresses. Temperatures dropping back through the 70s. I'll tell you when the rain arrives here in Northeast Kansas, though, coming up. There is great satisfaction in building something yourself, being free to define your own terms and create your own story. While your business might keep you up at night, it gives you hope for tomorrow. At Invista, we want to empower you to have what you need to thrive. The story of your business deserves to be heard. We believe in you, and we want to help you dream bigger. Your story is our passion. I've made progress with my mental health. So when I started having unintentional body movements called tardive dyskinesia, I ignored them. But when the twitching and jerking in my face and hands affected my day to day, I finally had to say, it's not okay. It was time to talk to my doctor about Osteto. She said Osteto helps reduce TD movements in adults while I continue with most of my mental health medications. Osteto can cause depression, suicidal thoughts, or actions in patients with Huntington's disease. Pay close attention to and call your doctor if you become depressed, have sudden changes in mood, behaviors, feelings, or have suicidal thoughts. Common side effects include inflammation of the nose and throat, insomnia, and sleepiness. Don't take Osteto if you have liver problems or taking Reserpine, Tetrabenazine, or Valbenazine. Osteto may cause irregular or fast heartbeat, restlessness, movements mimicking Parkinson's disease, fever, stiff muscles, problems thinking, and sweating. Talk to your doctor about Osteto. It's time to treat TD. TD is not okay. Visit askforosteto.com. Iron Rail Brewing is Topeka's choice for barbecue and brews. Experience the taste of downtown with friends and family. Celebrating great food, great drinks, and memories that make history. There's a new sense of pride in Topeka, and local business is key to the success of our community. Local business is the backbone of our economy, and its strength drives our prosperity. When you shop, please patron Topeka's local business leaders. Businesses like Linen Tree & Company, Madison Avenue Boutique, and 785 Bell Bonds. Was their son wrongly convicted of murder? Chris wrote you a letter explaining what took place. The letter gave us the answers that we didn't know before. New Dr. Phil exclusive. Monday at 3 on KSNT. Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. 
Welcome back. We've got a really nice night coming up, but that's going to lead into a very hot day coming up for tomorrow. Emporia camera looks good. We do have a few clouds coming in from the west and we'll likely see partly to mostly cloudy skies heading into early tomorrow morning and that will keep our temperatures on the mild side tonight. Holton camera looks good as well. Temperatures today, we made it up into the middle to upper 80s area wide. In fact, in Topeka, we hit 86 degrees, well above our average high for the day. That sits at 72. Now, I do want to call attention to our records. That was 93, set back in 1928. Now, for tomorrow's record high, that was set back in 1954, and that high is 92. And I think that we're going to certainly make it to 92, but probably go higher than that, at least in Topeka. So we've got lots of heat heading our way. Temperatures tonight, we're in the upper 60s to low 70s, 67 in Lawrence, 69 in Burlington. We're also at 67 in Sabetha, 71 at St. Mary's, same goes for Manhattan. Junction City and Blue Rapids both checking in at 74 this evening. Now our winds are fairly light, about 3 to 7 miles per hour out of the south and east. Those will become calm overnight, but early tomorrow they'll start to be picking up pretty quickly. So this is at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. We'll have winds gusting to between about 15 to 25 miles per hour, but increasing with those wind gusts about 30 to 40 miles per hour later on tomorrow evening. That cold front pushes through late Saturday, but more so during the day on Sunday, shifting our winds to the north and west and then we'll have that cooler air coming in right behind it. So very windy day coming up on Saturday. That's what's going to help get our temperatures well up into the 90s. So future temperatures through tomorrow afternoon. We've got low to mid 90s in store for everybody in northeast Kansas, but the cooler air just off to our north and west. Now that's going to smash that record if we do hit that 96 degrees on this model run. We'll certainly get really close in several other communities as well with those record highs. Now for Sunday morning, probably dropping back into the upper 60s to low 70s but not really warming up all that much on Sunday. Thanks to the cloud cover and with that cold front moving through, maybe making it into the upper 70s and low 80s south and east, but probably staying in the upper 60s to low 70s north and west. There's your satellite and radar with those clouds streaming on through tonight. And if we zoom out, we can already see our next system, the one that'll bring us our cold front coming on shore here, and that's going to make its way to the east over the next day or so giving us that cold front and rain chances by Sunday. So future track starts at 1030 this evening. Clouds on the increase, probably waking up mostly cloudy tomorrow morning, but a few more peaks of sunshine coming in through the evening. For Sunday, though, that's when that cold front pushes through. So by the time we get to 7, 8 o'clock, showers overspreading the area, probably more so and more heavy rain expected in our south and eastern counties through the night Sunday and into Monday. And after that system pushes through, we should be able to drop back into the 70s, which is a lot closer to where we should be this time of the year. Starting off next week, we'll also have another system coming through by Wednesday. That will drop our temperatures back even further. So quite the roller coaster of temperatures this week, up at 94 on Saturday day, possibly down into the mid to upper 60s as we close out the work week. All right, 90 tomorrow. I can't believe it. 94. <laughs> I'm just going to stay inside. Air conditioner all the way. I've got a cornhole tournament, so I got to go be oh, a part of all that. Yeah, oh. I know I got to get my arms ready. Yeah, get ready <laughs> for the heat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and speaking of which, don't go anywhere. It is Friday night during football season, and you know what that means. I mean, it's it is time for football frenzy. After the break, our sports teams has the best games and biggest moments from across the viewing area. That's up next. Hey everyone, tonight we have an all new show. Madonna will be here. The host of the Kids Tonight Show will be here. And we have a performance from Reba McIntyre. It's all happening tonight. New Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon tonight. Don't miss the Monsters Masquerade Halloween party at the Columbian Theater in Wamego. Rethink your future. Manhattan Area Technical College offers degree paths and hands-on training needed to jumpstart your way into a great career. On average, associate degree graduates earn 40K starting salary. Manhattan Tech, providing higher education. What should we do? I'm going to CashNetUSA.com. I can apply in minutes, and if approved, we can have the money as soon as the same business day. Go to CashNetUSA.com to apply for the money you need. When you've been in a car accident, your life can feel like it's frozen in time. How long it stays that way depends on what you do next and who you call for help. We're Devon James. We protect the rights of accident victims to get you the compensation you deserve. And to help you break free from an accident like this. 
Car accident? Devon James wins. Call 888-8888. It seems that everyone is pretty important to the health of everyone else these days. We try to separate, but life has a way of catching up to us. And pretty soon, we're in the swim again. It would help if everyone had access to health care. That's why there's a Grace Med to be a medical home for everyone. A place where you can get just about every kind of health care that everyone needs, regardless of your ability to pay. Because everyone deserves the kind of hope that only good health can bring. Grace Med. Hope care for everyone. Hi, this is Melissa with Squeegee Squad. We're proud to provide Topeka and surrounding areas with high quality window cleaning, pressure washing, and gutter cleaning. Start your way to clean your windows today. Call Squeegee Squad if you want your house to shine at 215-5159. Halloween is almost here, and Menards is here to help haunt your home with our huge selection of Halloween decor. We have spooky decorations and costumes to scare even the bravest souls. Stock up on candy for trick-or-treaters or grab the best party supplies for a frightening night of fun. This Halloween, the only thing you should be scared of is missing out on these big savings. Get 11% off everything Halloween now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. David's Jewelers, a full-service store offering custom bridal, diamond, gemstone, and estate jewelry. We also offer jewelry clock and watch repair, where quality is a family tradition. Buying gold and silver since 1968. Searching for a career in advanced manufacturing or industrial automation? Manhattan Area Technical College's new Industrial Engineering Technology applies science and engineering through theory and hands-on application of skills. Learn more at manhattantech.edu. And now, it's time for the KSNT Sports award-winning football frenzy with Glenn Kenley and Lainey Gerber. Welcome to Football Frenzy. I'm Glenn Kinley. And I'm Lainey Gerber. Glenn, a special matchup tonight with Washburn World, trying to prove they can hang with anyone. That's right. A big game for the Junior Blues, looking to make a statement against undefeated Manhattan tonight. It's the KSNT Football Frenzy Game of the Week. Rural taking on Manhattan in Manhattan. First drive. Here come the Indians. Keenan Sharks goes long ball to Jackson Bowles. Good throw, better catch. More Manhattan passing. Sharks this time to Joe Hall. Hall's pretty good. This game's tied at half. It was close the whole way. Rural time to go to work. Branton DeWeese to Robbie Bolin. He's hard to tackle. Hard to bring that guy down. Junior Blues keep it on the ground on the next one. That's McKintis Adams. He comes down just short of the end zone. He tried to stretch it. He tried to get in. The refs didn't quite give it to him. DeWeese has got to finish the job. He keeps it himself to the end zone. Rural got to hold off Manhattan now. The Indians need a score. Shards pass is tipped and it's picked off by Robbie Bolin. The game's not over yet, though. Still more time to play. Manhattan with the ball again. The rural defense is on lockdown. This time it's Connor Conklin with the pick. Rural gets the ball back, but Manhattan gets one last chance. Two seconds left. Stop me if you've heard this before. It's picked off. A huge, huge win for the Junior Blues. They beat Manhattan 21 to 14. We talked with them right after in the middle of the celebration. Here's what they told us. Great win for us because we're, we're pretty young, to be honest with you, and um, even though they've played half a season, you can see the emotion. There's still some things we need to clean up as, as a youthful team, but uh, we're getting a lot better every week, and just the momentum this will take for the next two weeks is important. Well, it means a lot. I mean, we just took down an undefeated Manhattan. You know, they're, credit to them, they're a really good ball team, but uh, we were prepping all week for this, and this is a really great moment for me and my team. And that's Robbie Bowl in there doing it on offense and defense. That's a statement dub for Washburn Rural. They're now five and one. They do it in Manhattan, too. Just Junior Blues have a right to be fired up. Oh, yeah. Like you said, statement one for sure there. And there's another good game for you. Two undefeated teams in Osage City and Wellsville, both 5-0 and going into this. Needless to say, both teams fired up for this one. Here's Wellsville's Nash Money. Awesome name. The defenders get a piece of him, but they can't bring him down. That's a money touchdown. Pun intended. Indian star Landon Boss gets to the outside and gets to the end zone. It's not over yet. Wellsville goes to the bag of tricks. It's a jet sweep, but he's throwing it. That's Willie Dorsey to Brody Lee for the Eagles touchdown. Osage City driving again. Check out these moves from Desmond Winton. Breaking ankles with that pink tape isn't Ooh. going to let his go. Sweet moves aside, though. Osage City can't pull out the win. Wellsville takes this one 35-12. 
two good teams. Wellsville stays undefeated. That takes us to the band of the week. Laney, take it away. Oh, yeah. Osage City, the football team may not have won, but that didn't stop the Indians from keeping the crowd and the team hype. They're still winners in our book. Congrats and keep it up. You all rocked. Lots of fun there with the band. Wamigo at home again. They got Schlegel opening kickoff. Check this one out. Wamigo is kicking it. But Schlegel can't handle it. Red Raiders, they have the ball. How about that? Not nice. a bad start, I guess. Here's the offense. Hunter Fillimore. The man is a human pinball machine. Bouncing off defenders, taking hits like it's nothing. Time for the Hayden Obiet show. This time, Chu Chase caught him. Got him. Touchdown, Boomtown. The kid can sling it. Let me tell you, this time he's going to Hagen Johnson. Finding the end zone. Put up six more. When you spell Wamigo, make sure to capitalize the W, big old W for the Red Raiders tonight. They beat Schlegel 48-14. Topeka West is at Highland Park tonight too. Kind of, but really it's just West gets the away locker room at That's Hummer right. this week. <laughs> Close game, West needs a point. It's Cam Gates to Xavier Alexander. He's heading to the end zone. He's got blockers, by, but Highland Park trips itself up. Touchdown Chargers. Highland Park trying to go downfield fast, but Topeka West intercepts it. That's Caden Wojciak. He takes us all the way to the house, but it's called back for a block in the back. Still a charger first down, though. West on the two-yard line. Gates keeps it. He tries going up the middle, but sneaks to the outside. Another Ooh. Chargers touchdown. Pulled me on that one. Oh, yeah. West pulls away from the close game. They win it and get this 80-46. to 46. Not a ton of defense there. <laughs> St. Mary's hosting Republic County. This one's in St. Mary's. The Bears looking for their third win in a row. Here's Keller Hurla looking end zone. Jordy Stelter. He's got it, and they are rolling. Next drive, it's Stelter again. He's running the ball. Let me tell you, he doesn't discriminate. He'll score touchdowns however you ask him to. He'll get it done. That puts him up three scores, and this one might be the play of the night, lady. Check it out. Ooh. Perla hangs it up for Kaysen Gomez. He makes an incredible catch, and he stays in bounds. He's in for six. The Bears are red hot. I'm telling you, they're red hot. They beat Republic County 46-0. to zero. A nice one for sure. And the Seaman Vikings are home for the first time in three weeks to host Emporia. In the last game at Seaman Stadium, both defenses are firing. Here, the Spartans fumble and Seaman jumps all over it. Believe it or not, no touchdown. Bobby Trujillo gets the sack on fourth down. Vikings next drive, though. Camden Barta hands it off to Jack Bloom. Bloom gets to open turf. Seaman's on the board. It's a low-scoring game, but Seaman gets the bounce-back win. They beat Emporia 22-6. The win for the Vikings. Homecoming in Rossville. Check it out. This might be the world's largest bulldog. I can't confirm that. Don't fact check me on that one, but that is a big bulldog. There's no question about it. Hey, they got big dogs on the field as well. This time it's to Cade Prine. He fumbles it. Pleasant Ridge gets the ball. Should Rossville be concerned? Uh, probably not because they're up 42 to nothing. Here's some of that offense. Tori Horak this time to a wide open Rafael Cooney. Rossville has outscored opponents this season, 16 million to 13. Once Sounds again, right. don't fact check me on that, but winning big is just what they do. The dogs take it 56 to six. Nice one. And Silver Lake is taking on McLeod before next week's big game, the War on 24 against Rossville. Yeah. Rogan Renfro gets going early, scoring here on a 19 yard run himself. Next possession, he goes 18 yards, making it 14 to nothing Silver Lake early in the first quarter. In the passing game, once they get involved a little bit, you can't just run in touchdowns That's on the right. ground. Quick pass to Gunnar Raymer, who refuses to go down using a nasty stiff arm Ooh. that led to another rushing touchdown later. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Man. In the second quarter, Dagan Kruger flips the ball forward to Cameron Canaper, making it 28 to nothing after the extra point. It's all Silver Lake in this one, winning 63 to 6. All Silver Lake. Oh yeah, let's look at some other scores from around the area. Holton's hosting Hiawatha. The Wildcats win it 48 to 14. They're six and zero. Undefeated. Hayden at Santa Fe Trail. The Wildcats win this one as well, 49 to six. And Perry LeCompton at Oswatomi cause our winners. 48 to eight is the final. Rock Creek at Jeff West. All Mustangs in this one. They take it 61 to six. The final. And Riley County stays undefeated with a win over Council Grove. They win 63 to 14. Chapman at Clay Center. Chapman comes out with a close one here, 20 to 19. Jackson Heights at Olpe. Olpe stays undefeated with a shutout win, 35 to zero. And Jeff Co North at Wabunzi. North wins it, 30 to 11. All right, eight games tonight, all sorts of highlights. Whew. Glenn, what are your thoughts? All after sorts tonight? of highlights. I, I got to tell you, St. Mary's. They started the year 0 and 3. They're 3 and 3. I don't remember me telling you they were 0 and 3. And I was like, they're not bad though. They're actually pretty good. They're 3 and 3 now. And then that rural win. I mean, that's a big win. That's a big win, especially for a Topeka school like yeah, that. And I also right. am really impressed with the amount of teams that are still undefeated. I thought this week for sure would kind of 
wrap all that out, yeah. but there's still some teams. Still some teams hanging in there. Opie's undefeated. Uh, you know, not Manhattan anymore, but no, Rossville's still undefeated. And the War on 24 is going to be a good one next week. Silver Lake has one loss. And it's to a uh, undefeated Riley County team, and Rossville's undefeated, so that'll oh, yeah. be a fun one. Also, Nash Money, I really like that That's name. And name. if his Twitter name isn't like Cash Money Nash or something, it's got to be. That, I'll be really disappointed. Nash so Money, I'll be looking that he's up. He's got to be a baller when you have that name. Oh, yeah. Well, and we got college ball tomorrow. K State and KU are off, but Emporia State and Washburn are playing. We'll have that action for you right here on KSNT. That's right. Thanks for watching Football Frenzy. Becky's back after the break with a final look at the forecast. At Dillon's, we know that the slower a banana ripens, the longer it stays fresh. So we keep things fresher than fresh by ripening them slowly. Come celebrate our 88th anniversary with us and everyone, including you, could get up to an $8,800 free rebate for your purchase. Here's how it works. If either of the pro football teams from Dallas or Kansas City have a play of 88 yards or more when they play on November 21st, you score and get up to an $8,800 rebate. Come celebrate with us and you might experience free. Only at the Furniture Mall of Kansas. Experience better. Oh yeah. From the excitement of bringing in your first child, through the sniffles, earaches, and yearly checkups, to sports physicals and unplanned accidents. When you need advanced health care services, choose Newman Regional Health, offering over 30 specialties and services right here in Emporia. Quality, accessibility, and convenience is closer than you think. Newman Regional Health welcomes the opportunity to serve you with outstanding medical care. Choose Newman Regional Health. Quality health care, close to home. Right now at Power Home Solar, qualified homeowners can get the benefits of solar energy starting at less than $200 a month. By going solar, you're actually offsetting and reducing what you're currently paying your energy company. And you get our exclusive Power Home value pack, which includes American-made solar panels, a Generac backup battery, and Smart Power 360. Call 1-800-POWER-90 today and get the first 12 months on us. Power Home Solar, it's time to own your power. Life can be a breeze in the shade of a nice tree, of course, only if you've taken care of your trees. When it comes to tree service, you can trust the certified arborist at Brown's Tree Service. With generations of experience of taking care of trees around Northeast Kansas, Brown's does it all from tree pruning, keeping your trees in tip-top shape, to tree removal, disease, and insect control. For four generations, Brown's Tree Service has the experience that you deserve when taking care of your trees. Take a break in the shade and give us a call today. Prairie Glass Studio. Glass artists creating amazing fused glass, gifts, home decor, and jewelry. Visit us online or stop by soon at 10th and Topeka Boulevard. Topeka. Come enjoy our downtown. Capital Federal, proudly supporting downtown Topeka. How do we make sure Dylan's food is fresh? We put sensors on our coolers, and if something changes, we drop whatever we're doing to take care of it. That way, we can make sure Dylan's food isn't just fresh, it's fresher than fresh. Well, welcome back. We do have a very mild evening coming up as we've got some clouds moving through. That'll keep our temperatures on the mild side tonight, only dropping back into the middle 60s. Now, we do have a cold front set to move through sometime on Sunday, but we are going to be able to heat up very substantially tomorrow. So potentially record breaking heat coming up. Temperatures climbing up into the middle 90s on Saturday. We'll have that cold front come through on Sunday. Rain chances look to hold off until late evening, but you might run into some rain as you get closer towards Arrowhead if you're heading out to the Chiefs game. But once that rain moves out, we'll have temperatures in the 70s to start off next week. Thanks for watching tonight. We'll take a uh, have a good weekend. And you know, if you want to catch me on Monday morning, I'll join you dark and early at 430.